Hey everybody, this is Sheets, and we're going to be going over the two-game slate for the LCK, which starts at 4. And we're going to do the video now and post it after lock. Uh, unfortunately, I'm not going to be awake to see the the starters for uh, DRX. So again, if you want to go with me on this, you're going to have to take that risk along with me. Um, and it's something you might want to consider. <laughs> Because uh, KT Rolster has been known to really fail as big favorites. Um, we shout out to Gelati LOL, who has identified this months ago, that KT Rolster is very, very good as an underdog and very, very poor as a favorite. Um, and you do want to target underdogs against them. But the problem is that DRX... We don't really know who's playing, and there's and there's going to be sub risk even if somebody does start. So, uh, you know, you're, you're going to be really gambling. So, one of the spots is going to be at the mid at mid position. It's going to be either Kiahu or C Tab. We we just don't know, and we don't know if there's going to be a sub in the middle. It, you just have no idea. Um, you you will probably if you're up at three forty five, which I won't be. So. You have to uh, you have to roll with that. Teddy, I imagine, back from COVID. Uh, I guess he's going to play. I'm not too worried about that. And I think that's it as far as the sub risk. But it's uh, definitely something that you need to, to be cautious about here. And even Rascal could – could it's possible he gets sub to two, sub two. Um so you want to take a low own shot with Frog. I mean, you don't want to do that because you are going to probably know by four at least who's playing. Um, but maybe not. You just you might not know. So, uh, so what we're probably going to do at the end of the day is is just not play. I mean, they they are a four to one underdog here, so they're not going to win all too often. And then you have in this other game you have T one against KDF. It's a must win game for KDF. Um, but yet still. You know, they're three and a half, you know, three to one underdog. So you do have two pretty sizable favorites, but not like the favorites that we've had. So it's not like two 15 to one favorites like we've been dealing with. Um, so it is a little bit different. So we uploaded the um, the projections and we're going to run these. And I'll just show you what we're doing here. We'll run a thousand lineups. I mean, we're gonna, not going to probably need a thousand lineups, but just to kind of show you. I still think that even with the um, – even though they're not the biggest favorites in the world, I still think that you're going to get 100% uh, KT Rolster and T1 when you run these things. But one thing that somebody pointed out to me that's interesting about this slate is because of lineup construction, because of salary constraints, it might be difficult to get to those traditional KT Rolster four-man stacks. Um, so if you do want to play them, you might have to spend down at captain or, or do something else to get to a four man KT rollster stack. Um, so and that's the decision that we're going to have to make. And we're going to we're going to let the Sims try to help us out here. Um, I don't have any real particular lean on this uh, on either of these games, except to say that, I mean, my experience in the world, <laughs> let's put it that way. And I got a lot of it. Um this must-win game stuff is usually pretty overblown. Um, if anything, teams that must win play a little bit more, you know, uh, nervously. So I don't know. Uh, I, I don't think that you want to play KDF just because they're in a must-win position, for example. All right, so let's just take a look and, and see what we were talking about with respect to lineup construction. Yeah, so you are getting... You know, let's say you're going to want to play 100% T1 and KT if you want to do that. You are getting 32 of your 35 before threes, but let's see what those look like actually. So um, in the four-man stacks, it is actually more KT than T1. And in those, let's take a look at the captains. You do have... Uh, perfect is the top position as a captain which uh indicates that it's going to be difficult to play deft in captain 
just because of the of the pricing. Um, so usually in these types of situations, okay, uh, you I end up forcing in stuff with like deft and captain, which is going to naturally get us non-traditional not non-traditional stacks but non-kt t1 stacks i think that's what we're going to end up doing um if these are the ones that all the optimizers are going to get to and we're perfect is not exactly you know the hugest up to upside you know uh play zayas i think is a little bit better in captain I mean, he at least has been been you know shown the upside recently but to put perfect in the captain i think it's going to be the chalky approach and i think i, I kind of want to get away from that if possible and you, you see what happens you get like carry in the captain barrel and the captain so you're getting these support captains um in the name of getting to these kt t1s so those to me are are indications that we can get different by not playing t1 kt you get the upside and and um and uh less and and less popular constructions let's take a look and see what the sims will do for us uh i already i think i already did this right i think i already set these sims up let's just see uh yeah we did already so let's run the contest sims Ooh, you know what we didn't do it right because we did it with uh build one and it's not going to build one so we're, we're going to start this over this was calling from a uh an old build we want to do the the new one so let's save these we'll run the sims and now we'll see what we get try one more time okay um all right so let's see what we get with, without making any changes here in the shock blast we are getting ooh things already got a little bit different so they put piosic more Piosic in the captain, uh, more than perfect. Um, you still have this barrel in the captain business. Um, so I'm probably going to try to get off of this if possible. Let's see what the stack exposure looks like. So, ooh, so only we are going to get like eight lineups that are four twos. So we'll keep those um, on a two game slate. But even more to the point, I think that let's see if we go like min uniques two or something like that. If I can get off of some of this KTT one, you get to some, you get off of some of it, you know, like if you go to min uniques three, then you get a, a little bit more of the other ones. But then what I want to do is I want to get those, those uh, supports, for example, out of the captain position and the top out of the captain position. So we'll get rid of barrel. We'll get rid of perfect. Okay. And that's going to already make us sort of low, you know, a uh, little different, especially the perfect one. Cause you see perfect is, is, is part of several optimals. So we'll take these guys out. We'll go back to min uniques too, just to kind of see what we're getting here. So now we're getting Piosic, Gumiyushi, deft owner, um, Zayas, I don't mind again, but then there's Leaper, BDD, and Teddy. We're, we're not playing perfect in the, in the captain. So it's getting us a little bit different. Um, let's see what that does to our team stacks. Um, still getting a bunch of T of KTT one, but not the normal way. Um, and you're also getting 17, four twos instead of mostly four threes. Now I'm curious what if I limited it to four three onlys, like what it would look like? Like how much of this other stuff would I get um just for the hell of it? If I just went four threes, I'm pretty sure now I'd be getting well, I mean what's good about it is it's not as if I'm I'm getting nothing good. You know, I'm still I still think we're getting some some KTT ones. Um, but not all of them. And it's letting us play these four threes. So let's see. Players. Let's see who's in the captain again. So we're getting good options in the captain. Well, we don't want T1 in the captain, obviously.
and I guess what's making this work is that I imagine that you're not going to have any any KTs with T1. I think all the KTs are probably going to be with KDF, and all the T1s are probably going to be with DRX, and we'll, we'll confirm that. So KTs, yeah, well, it be some KTs with T1. Let's see, what do those look like? Actually, 11 of them. But again, they're not exactly the most traditional because you're putting... Uh, these are just not the, the the highest owned ones. You know, we got rid of all these perfect ones, which were projecting the best. Um, so I kind of like this approach. So we are going to play some T ones with K with with KT, but just not the same combinations. Um. um so it's going to be. You know, it looks like this is the build I want to go to. Let, let's take a look at the geo mean stuff, though. Let's just make sure that we don't have too many dupes here. Um, I think 29 was our squeal point, and it looks as though everything's under 29 as far as the geo mean goes. Just make sure this is what we want. So, how many? 1176 entries. Mm, let's see what our ownership needs to be or our geo mean needs to be. 1176. Okay, so with one dupe, 30. So it's actually not bad. I mean, even if we went to 0. 0.5, 27.4, I mean, that, that we don't really dip into any of our lines. Maybe we get rid of one or two. So, you know, we probably should get rid of these. I mean, if it's not that difficult to get rid of them. Yeah, so let's get a little bit a little bit more unique. Let, let's do that. Let's get rid of the, some of those higher own ones. And we'll go 27.4 Geo Mean. And we just do that by hit filter, Geo Mean, less than 27.4. And then we got to go back and just check to make sure that we're getting what we want here as far as, you know, captainship and all that stuff. Um, captain, yeah, deft, we're getting that. T Teddy, DRX. Again, maybe we get lucky. DRX wins, we'll be freaking heroes. And then as far as team stacks go, mostly, well, I mean, we're getting some of everything here, which I kind of like. So we are risking some stuff with DRX and the sub risk. Let's take a look and see who we have. Um, Teddy's fine. Is it going to be C tab? Should we not play C tab? We don't all, they don't all have C tab, but a good amount of them have him. And we ha do have some rascal. Boy. Um, it's a tough call. It honestly is. I mean, if I go ahead and, and just X out those two guys, I could make my life a little bit easier, right? Just take out Rascal and C-Tab and see what, see what that gets me. So let's take out C-Tab. And then we'll take out Rascal. It's a lot. That's a pretty big pos position to take, though. But I think that it's probably the best. So we'll only play Teddy, play Yatata, and NDRX as far as uh, team position. Um, so let's just review what we have here. So we have, first of all, all four threes. We have a geo mean of, of less than 20. What is it? Um, 25, was it? Let me just see what, what it was. Geo mean of less than 27.4. 
as far as team stacks go, we are getting now we're back to almost all the KT. Uh, and the reason for that is because we've limited ourselves to these DRX guys. Uh, it's it's really a tough call what to do. So now we're getting, well, now look at this. Now we're getting KT Rolster and the captain, which we can't have. Now, as far as team stacks go, again, we're getting KT 90%, but mostly KDF. So this is this is the this is what we've done. This is what we've done. We're playing a whole bunch of KDF here. Like 71% of our lineups. That's going to be our stand, among other things. And I think that of the non-KDFs, I think of the of the T1s, let's just take a look. We are getting some KTs. But yeah, I think this is what we're gonna do. We're we're gonna take our our stance with 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 KT, even though you know they don't really do that well as favorites. But I think we've we've tried our best to get the RX in, but it's just it's just too risky. That even if they win, I mean, like imagine that if if you get the wrong subs in. So we're gonna roll with this and. uh apologize but listen i have nothing to apologize for because i mean i just going with with what i have um so if in fact drx smash then hopefully one of these three lineups got there for us all right uh so we're gonna put those into the shock blast so everybody's everybody just root for kt rolster but not perfect too much perfect smashed in the captain we're not gonna be happy um so then let's look at the triumphant warrior triumphant warrior what's the top line up here so zayas and the captain i kind of like and this one's kind of neat this doesn't have your traditional kind of setup here this one Wow, this is kind of cool. So you really can't play a KT four man without making some uh, some concessions here. So I think we are going to try Zayas and the captain. I mean, I think that's uh, I think that's that's the way to go. So we'll play four mans of these KT rolsters, and then hope that KT win without going too crazy. I guess is that the way I really want to do this. This one here, yeah, let's just go with our top lineup today. We're leaving 700 on the table, so that's reasonable. All right, we're going to go with this one. So that one's going to be Zayas and the captain with with Caria and T1, and then hope that, that, that KT from these four just kind of blast and get enough points. All right, so we're going to put these in. And uh, again, I apologize if all my guys are out, but I'm just not going to be up to make those changes. And this will be posted right after lock. And that's it.